recently or maybe i don't know maybe it's a craze in the western world alone or also in africa but there's been like this wave of feminism and do you listen to this um talk about um chimamanda's adichie's um we should all be feminist yes i do maybe it wasn't on tech talk yeah it was on tech talk yeah a very long time yeah Yeah, it was a very long time and I remember when I was listening to that or maybe I read some excerpt or hear it from I don't know maybe Beyoncé's song or something like that the idea were valid and I think her reasoning was valid in that you know in a situations like the one that she mentioned where I don't know something about um her her pain for something and the person that was paid look at her husband and say thank you instead of her like i paid yeah. for the tissue like things evolved right the feminism that um, chimamanda was talking about was like the kind of one that i was familiar with it's, it's good it's to uplift the woman the wave of feminism now especially maybe in the western society it's um it's kind of toxic that it's divert or it takes away from the real grassroots movement of what feminism was about because feminism with the way Chimamanda talked about it was like oh it's just about um uplifting the woman improving the woman protecting the woman yes, you yes. know making sure like they have a chance in the workplace some while back maybe i don't know maybe 50 60 years ago i don't know but sometimes back like that like women are not even allowed to have bank accounts you know if they are in abusive relationship they can't get out because it's the man it's the man's world or what they say like who, who is going to take care of you like you know those kind of talk I, i guess maybe some secular kind of feminists they kind of misconstrue the movement and be like um like women shouldn't get married that they shouldn't like you can literally decide what you want however you want you can be libra you can do anything like to the extreme to the extreme of oh, i am like i'm an independent woman i can do whatever i want i can say whatever i want i can you know and people do, do hmm. not buy into that and especially when it goes to like oh um they should, women shouldn't get married or you know they don't have to have children they don't have to like i don't know cater for their men like you know the traditional role of a woman being a housewife you know being a stay home mom mm-hmm. and all those kind of stuff they said that the new feminist or like feminist thing in general is about like degrading the woman and i'm like mm-hmm, i don't think so because i i feel like some some part or maybe like some secular kind of feminist ideology maybe believe that you know women had had it really hard like historically women had had it really hard and men are usually like up there you know they are in the politics they are making the money they are all those kind like they feel like men basically have all the advantages and women doesn't and so i guess to the extreme they be like um women should be able to do whatever they want they should say whatever they want they, they don't have to be housewife they don't have to i don't know take care of the home because it's expected for the women right you know you get married you have babies that's that's all you are made for that's all you're supposed to do why do you want to go into workspace some uh some feminists like that they took it to the extreme and men are like no this is you know you're de- you're emasculating the man you're doing this you're doing that so and some women are also falling into the line like oh i'm no longer a feminist when like a lot of people agree to with something like everybody wants to join in they want to join in the bad mm-hmm. wagon and be like oh yes that's true that's true because i remember when exactly. Yeah, because I remember when this Chimamanda Sam Tweed talk came out and everybody was like, "Yes, oh yes, you are right, girl. You are you're so right." And, and everybody was coming about their situation where like maybe a man looked down on them or something like that or they didn't get a job in their workspace and a man 
competitor got it and the people are coming out like that but then now it's another wave of oh we don't like feminism because of this this and that and everybody is just jumping onto the bandwagon and i'm like mm, i don't believe it some people will definitely try to misconstrue what feminism was about but yes, at yes. the same time it doesn't take away the fact that it is about protecting the woman at the end of the day i don't think it has anything to do with degrading the man or emasculating the man but just protecting and uplifting the women like violence against women is still very rampant we can't take away the fact that that is why uh, feminism even came about regardless of what's going on right now and however people try to misconstrue what feminism was at the core it doesn't take away the fact that the ideology is or is still good like the real ideology or the core idea of it is still very valid and still very good and relevant to the present society and you know people will say something like, like a woman should be in their feminine energy they, be, they should be soft i listen to youtube videos and the people be like oh i want to be in their in my feminine energy like um a woman if you want to get married if you want to meet your right husband you should be in your feminine energy you should be nurturing you should be this you should be that you know and i'll be like oh, you know what we all have my feminine energy you know you know from what i understand i don't know everything about it but from what i've read so far and what i've listened to so far it seems like they're talking about like women should be like nurturing you know they should be soft sent me a video sometimes ago where well, you know the one oh wait, what, what is it about the two girls were like to like change their makeups and were talking like i want to be feminine <laughs> i don't know I, I, I don't know. I don't. I, I have. I don't think so. I don't think so because I don't remember um, sending a video. Or maybe why? Because I have to be feminine. I like the way it's just. I mean, traumatizing. Like <laughs> doing the makeup, pampering themselves, and like, I think what is wrong with this one? No. <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah. It's from what I understand, from what I've read and seen so far, I got a sense that you know. Uh, people are saying, okay, um, women should be like ladylike, you know, and ladylike means being soft, being nurturing, being, I don't know, something about like having a soft life to the extreme. Like you oh. got to, you got to let the man see that you don't have like all this masculine energy as in like, um, as like, being, as, as like being too independent. If you identify as a feminist, People be like, oh, that's a red flag. That's a trigger. That you're going to be like, um, oh, woohoo! Um, I'm an independent woman. I don't need any man. You know those kind of thoughts. And I'm like, mm. um, I don't. You know, personally, I feel like, especially for single ladies like me, I, if a guy comes to me and be like, oh, he needs me to be feminine and lady like, I'm like, excuse you, what are you talking about? imagine me in nigeria or imagine ladies in nigeria like and people are like oh you got to be lady like you got to tone down your um i guess your expression of like you can do it all or you can do it by yourself when like you live in an environment that constitutes or that warrants you to do it all or do it by yourself that's the kind of thing that I have against um, this, like, oh, you got to be in your feminine energy. People that are living in an extreme circumstances or they have an extreme childhood or extreme, um, I don't know, foundation, you can't expect them or you can't ask them to be like, oh, I want you to be in your feminine energy because um, I don't want to, I don't want a woman that, um, that's too independent, that's too this, or even like that's expressive, like how we are. Uh, people be like, that's not ladylike. Like, you know, a lady, mm -hmm. a lady should be shy. We should all be shy. And I'm pretty sure they said we should all be modest. Being nurturing is not, de it's not definitive of a woman or it's not, def or, or doesn't define the woman. Because what I see as nurturing for a woman 
it's like okay yeah mm -hmm. beauty something like that pregnancy uh childbearing child rearing i think that's the core definition of what nurturing is and not about like oh i have to exude this kind of nurturing appearance or nurturing um, actions in order to attract a man you know i think not, not being nurturing is like reserved maybe for your children and maybe for your family and you know. so and i think for your partner too yeah yeah i i don't think it's I really don't think it's a, it's so it's that deep. I'm like, oh yeah, I want you to be not. I want you to be feminine. And I was like, what what are you talking about? I'm pretty sure, like when I was growing up in Nigeria, is it when like your your teacher like slash you fifteen kids for coming late to class? That's when you'll be like, you'll be telling that girl to be to be to be in her feminine energy. Like it does all oh, you make start dance like how many like seven or ten miles you will cut it with cutlass <laughs> cutlass and who I, I you know remember like on Wednesday on Wednesday we do all the um what do you call this we do environmental day and we start cutting cutting grass hoeing the grass like, is that the lady that you want to go and be like oh yeah I want you in your feminine energy because you want a relationship with them. And I was like, well, you know what? You just got to meet people where they are. You can't, because I bet if you ask people that are even saying, oh, I want people in their feminine energy. I want to, I want to marry a person in their feminine energy. Like, can you even tell us what this feminine, feminine energy is about? Mm -hmm. like, if you can tell us, then maybe I'll, well, I will get what you are saying. But until then, like what 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 is it? What is it? What is it about like meeting people where they are? Honestly, I don't get the feminine energy that they are talking about. And I'm like, you know, I I woke up, I cook my suhoor, I eat. Um, we are doing this, and then I got to go to work. That in what time of all the lists that I just uh, mentioned now, do I have time to be thinking about? Oh, I got to be in my feminine energy. In, in what in what way? In what time? So that's what I don't get. Maybe be, maybe people have a point in that, as in like women today are too too independent that they are saying that they don't need a man, and so they want to call women back to be in their feminine energy. And I'm like, you know what, boo? Just meet the person where they are. Just meet people where they are. You don't have to ostracize them or, or lament them that the way they are doing is wrong or what they have been taught or what they have been believed their entire life is wrong. You don't have to do that. I guess like people can teach each other or uh, one another about what they mean about this feminine energy. So we can all understand. <laughs> I think I would like to enter from that oh, point. Okay. I just said that. Oh, so I've been waiting, been waiting to know. We have been waiting been for you. I've been here. I was listening. Oh, okay. Can you have really explain what they meant by that feminism? You know, because for example, now I remember the last time I mentioned that in my place of work. They are nominating people to go for something and they are not looking at the women. I have to raise it that whatever we are doing, I think we should consider gender balance. Yeah. My own, I do not understand what feminism means, but gender balance. When you are nominating two men, then at least one woman should be there. So, but then I remember someone had to come and meet me later that I should not bring that notion here. Huh. But I can attend a class of 7 a.m. You also attend the same class for 7 a.m. You did not look at me being a woman that, okay, you, you can come for class of 10. <laughs> because you be at home, busy with the kids or something like that. You did not think at that time that I'm a woman. I, we attended the same school. We passed through the same class. When they are teaching us, they did not say, women, stay here. You, when you get 50, you are passed. But if you are a man, when you get, you have to get up to 80 before you can 
pass. We passed through the same system like that. You did not know then that I'm a woman. So another situation that happened recently was when we were trying to elect some people for posts of our association. And a woman stood up. She's HOD of her department currently. And people did not even vote for her. Before the vote itself, they have already strike her out like she's nobody. Say, eh, women should not do this one. Women should not do that one. But when it comes to you calling me that, please, can you please stand in for me in my class? You can do that. You do not remember then that I'm a woman, mm -hmm. that I have kids to take care of at home. So what is really the point? You know, sometimes I just pay blank and I do not get the meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it, yeah, like what you said was so is so true. Like I know think uh, greedy has to like I'll bring it to point. Greedy and I guess women supporting other women. Like greediness of like say I guess the corporate world or when it comes to like making more money, then like they call the man, right? When it comes to like making more money, they'll say, Okay, yeah, the man should. But then when it's called but then they don't think about the woman. So I think greediness has to do with it, and like especially in the corporate world, and also they say something about a uh, woman supporting women, and I I know that was like really rampant, like here in the Western world, like no, we're gonna support black businesses, we're gonna women are going to be supporting each other, like before I can buy, before I would buy for a man, I will buy for my sister, before I can you know buy for a, an uncle or I don't know. Something like that, because eventually, mm. eventually men do make more because they benefited from that widespread, the widespread idea that oh, it's a man's world. You know, they think that the man has more roles in the house, like he got to, I don't know, maybe pay the bills, you know, a anything like that, or maybe give the give the wife some money and all those kind of stuff. But then they forgot the other side that. The woman also is part of the family, is part of the household, and she also needs to have that financial freedom. So I think it has a lot to do with uh, greediness, especially in the corporate world. And that's what I'm saying. Like some environment, it doesn't work. Some environment doesn't work for like all this. So you have to be in your feminine energy. Honestly, like when I hear this thing these days, I'll be like, I don't want to hear about it anymore. Like from how I was brought up, it's like, you know, go to school, be, you know, make sure that you have a good job, make sure that you have a good, um, make sure that you have a good education so you can, you can have a good job to fend for yourself. And from what I've seen, even when I was in Nigeria, like imagine, um, market seller, can you go and tell them and be like, I want stuff in their feminine energy. And even those of us that are not selling in the market, when we see the struggle of this woman in this present world, in what world would a man come to you and be like, I want you in your feminine energy? Like, and feminine energy, from what I understand, is like, oh, not being too loud, and, you know, being reserved, being nurturing, being soft, being, you know, all that. And I'm like, you know, I like soft life. I like stuff like that. I don't think no one will say they don't like it. But at the same time, you can't expect that from people unless you're going to give the same thing. Or if you want something like that, at least elaborate on what you mean by feminine energy. And from what I, from my standpoint, my standpoint right now is just like meet people where they are. You can't meet a 25 year old woman wanting to get married. And you you see that the red flag is that maybe the person is too independent. Well, you don't know if this person maybe they lost their dad, maybe they maybe they don't have anyone, maybe they are an orphan. In what world will you ask somebody like that to be in their soft? You know, they are in a survival mode. They have to. Maybe, I don't want to generalize that it's the men in our society now. But I know that some people are perpetrating and talking about this oh, feminine energy. Like it's, it's a must. 
or maybe they're just expecting that from Western women because they think that Western women, of course, they have it easier when <laughs> it is not true. Like a lot of women in the Western world, they face a lot of hardship, personal, family, familiar, whatever you want to call it, hardship. And basically, that's what I want to talk about on that femininity, whatever jargons people are talking about today. Like, meet people where they are. It's that simple. And, it, and I think it's world. It creates a lot of chance to grow, to teach each other about, I don't know, whatever each other person need or where they are lacking. But personally, from how I was brought up, is it when you are do you are finding the cold pot that they be like, ah, but only they say safe to work there. No, honestly, I mean, so so thinking, you know, you know what I mean. So that's what I will say about like all this thing, and that's the topic that I want to um add. And I really like your point, um, Brahma. Thank you for like. It doesn't make sense that you will work with a man in the same corporate, in the same environment, and they won't even consider one woman. One woman. And honestly, this is what um, the core basic of feminism is about, like gender balance, pay balance. Like, why are we working the same job? And because you're a man, you, are, you get paid more because they, they thought that you have family to care of. Like, so men, so men don't, don't even have a wife, but they get paid better and more because they assume that, oh, he probably has family to cater for. When like a woman with two kids and a fam and a husband and I don't know, other extended family get paid less for the same amount of work. It doesn't make sense. And then when people, when you talk about this, and then people be like, oh, we don't want women to be independent. When people feel cheated in the same system, of course they will get angry. And no, you're not going to get fem feminine energy. Because it's not, I mean, like, whatever you are doing, it's not screaming feminine. It, I mean, it's cheating feminine. Really, it's cheating each other feminine. Like, it's not giving. So I don't know why they're expecting this. Like, oh, you should, it will be like, you should just take it, whatever happens. Like, it doesn't make sense. I mean, make it make sense. Will you take it? I don't think women have come out and be like, oh, I want a man in his masculine energy. I don't think. I think the the basic thing that they will not want to say that. They will not want, they, they will not want you to say that. They will say, okay, <laughs> we are for each other now. Like, we are meant to support each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, but no, it's about selfish reasons now. Like, oh, I want this from you. If you can't provide this, if you're not in your feminine energy, then we can't we can't work. And like, I beg, oh God, calm down. Life is not that hard. I mean, meet me where I am. Why at this age to be going to learn about feminine energy? Like, I beg, elaborate. Come and teach me, because me, I don't understand. And it's not me not wanting to change. Or not wanting to tolerate or maybe i don't know incorporate like if i'm expected to meet you where you are like i don't require you to be masculine or to be in your masculine energy they like mm, expecting me to be in my feminine energy I'm like mm, i don't think so like do you know do you know my story do you know why i'm like as i am do you know where i come from if you don't know that kind of stuff you can't be like oh i expect you to be this or i want you to be like this i beg calm down we, we gotta be considerate of each other like especially like between like men and women we have different lives different biology and we have to be understanding though sometimes during menstrual period when you are in pain you want to be asking your wife or your and your, your sister or your girlfriend that oh why aren't you in your feminine energy when the person is in pain? It doesn't make sense. So just meet people where they are. And that's for me. That's the only thing I'll see. Like, I know, like, you want to be in your feminine energy. I'm like, mm, okay. But, like, 
meet people where they are. I think it's better that we, you know, it's balanced. No one has to be in like their feminine world, like or in their extreme femininity, because that's what the society is saying, or that's what they think they have to do, or they have to be to attain a certain relationship. It doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to, you don't have to push people to the point of, oh, but people say this. Well, just be yourself. I mean, people will say whatever they want, but just be yourself. And that's my take. I've talked too much. And see, Anifa. Well, I don't really have any people. I'm already in the bank here at the feminine. <laughs> but I don't think I am. In their term, the meaning they are attaching to the feminine, I don't think I am. But I don't know. I don't really like talking about things like that. Because I fight and fight a lot. Yeah. yeah. All I want is just gender balance. Mm -hmm. Because I'm doing the same job you're doing, then we should be accord the same respect. Yes. You don't tell me that uh, ladies belong to the kitchen at work. You can only tell that to your wife. I'm not your wife. I'm a <laughs> colleague. <laughs> Oh, you know, but that's true though. That's true though. Like it's putting, it's just putting them in their place. You don't tell me what to do. You have no rights. I'm not your, I'm not a member of your family. Even you don't speak to a member of your family like that. And I do, I, and I yeah. bet like some wives when they, are, when they have had enough, they'd be like, no, you are not the boss of me. We are the boss of each other. So it's either one, we won't have to take defeat somehow. You know, with all that you explained, that was what people, or like women back in those days, that was what they fight for. Because you know what, like here, maybe, I don't know if it was 1960 or maybe like a hundred years ago, I think, I don't know. But it's quite recent that women are allowed to vote. Like women are allowed. Yeah. Like it's a recent thing. And you know, and that same, and that goes for like, you know, getting paid the same wage you know and women opening bank accounts and that same goes to like um, saudi arabia i think they only allow women to be driving like they only allow women to drive like since yes. even by recent like it, women that's when women started driving it it's it's strange it's a strange thing until i came here i had no idea about this i mean like Women like in Nigeria, they've been driving cars. My auntie, she drove car. My mommy drove. Even like a um, Lagata motorbicycle. Yeah. Women, women do that. <laughs> I remember one time when I came to Nigeria. I think it was 2014, and I saw and I saw a lady like in Shaku. I saw a lady like just riding taxi, like mm -hmm. motor, motorbike, oh. moto, motorcycle. I saw a lady like riding in it, and the lady was also in in hijab, and she was riding the um, motorcycle, and I was like, "Wow, that's really nice." And there was a guy that was with me that that time. He was like, "Oh, that's so bad." I'm like, I was like, "What? Why?" If she has to go to the market, it's better that she keep the hundred or two hundred dollar. Uh, sorry, hundred or two hundred naira that we used to go and come back. When she can literally drive her own motorcycle and go and come back, as long as she's good. Why are we taking away chances from women? Because you think or you think that they shouldn't. And if if they ask you, like, why do you think or why do you want women not to be able to have this thing? Whether you are their husband or their father or their uncle, it still doesn't bring that legitimate reason for why they shouldn't do some things. So me and my friends were talking about something before, um, but we didn't record it. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. And so about feminine energy, like I'm not going to discount the idea. I'm still going to look into it to see what this feminine energy is all about. But honestly, at this point, I'm, I don't feel like I'm agree. Because if it's all about being your, like, the soft girl, whatever, ladylike, honestly, there's nothing wrong with being ladylike. I feel like sometimes it does have, like, um, some negative connotations attached to it, as in, like, you are spoiled or something like that. 
So if that is what this feminine energy is all about, I don't know. I'm not agreeing. Because honestly, like even from what we have learned or what we have been made to, I don't know, to tune into as women, it's not feminine energy. I mean, think about Cinderella's story, Beauty and the Beast, the Sleeping Beauty, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. All these women, they have struggles and they still persevere. They are patient. I mean, is it like Cinderella and her stepmom that made her work from, from more than nine to five? Is it her that you want to, that the pre you, the prince want to go to her and say, oh, I want you in your in your soft girl era because what was this prince looking for at the end of the day he wants the truth he wants the woman that he saw he wants the, the woman of that substance of that is industrious that is patient that he saw that he danced with and same goes with all of that fairy tale story like that okay so yeah about that feminine energy that's what that's just what i was talking about so if like my friend was saying that if this feminine energy doesn't include patience and it doesn't include patience it doesn't mean like persevering in struggles of the woman then it's not like come on let's be serious feminine energy like seriously what is it all about like what is this energy about? I want to know. I will, and if like, and it got to be something more than just like sitting at home or like don't know, beautifying yourself with your husband or I don't know, nurturing in a way that you know everybody should be a nurturer. Being a nurturer is not definitive. It's not me. It's not only the woman's job. Everyone should be a nurturer. We feel like it should account for more things than just i guess beautifying yourself and being lady like because come on is cinderella always that lady like i mean if you see if real cinderella in rags will you ask her to be for prince charming it doesn't make sense i'm sorry it doesn't make sense and from what we have seen in our movies since we are babies did did disney taught us about feminine energy i don't know maybe they need to do cinderella again because it's missing feminine energy but yeah and then one more point that me and my friend were talking about was like if we want to bring islamic approach to this feminine let's see feminine energy thing what islam said was uh, it's so he been for his so he bad. I mean, wait, wait, wait. So bearing, oh my God, why, why would I say so? no? Um, a mumining for a mumenat is so wait, so sober. A sobering for soberat. A solihin for solihat. Like it goes like that. A believing man for the believing woman. A prayerful one for the prayerful woman. A patient one for the patient um woman. A pure one for the pure woman. Where in the Quran does it say? Where in, where where does it say in the Quran? Or maybe I don't know. Maybe even the Bible that it says, um, the masculine man for the masculine, the masculine man for the masculine woman, or the feminine man for the feminine woman. Where in the, where does it say that? So why why am I why am I hearing about all this? feminine energy like and as i was listening to the talk and maybe like a podcast and they were talking about like how men want feminine women and i'm like i i just don't buy it i'm sorry i don't buy it because like logically does our society want us that way like you gotta be soft boo boo it looks like you might be cheated and my friend was saying that it's it's screaming it's giving manipulation if someone is asking you like um being your family energy if it's giving manipulation 
But I don't know, maybe they mean it in, a, in another sense that I don't understand it. But for me, I be like, see, in this today's era, with the price going up every day, that's when you want to be asking some women that have been working 12 to 12, that they should be in their feminine energy or feminine energy or whatever. It doesn't give. And I'm saying that we should all meet each other halfway. It's nice if we meet with you. Grandma, do you want to say something? Oh, Anifa is back. Awesome. Please, we're, we're, back. We are going on today. No, like, mm. you know, when we were talking about that femininity thing, I wasn't recording. So I was just kind of summarizing everything that we said. Okay. And Anifa said that I, I want African society, like the men, like honestly, that's what I hear too. The men want um, substance. They want industrious women. They want women that are kind, patient, caring, and all that. I think caring and being kind and nurturing is like the highlight of this feminine energy. And though, and I don't know, maybe being a substance person, substantial person, or being industrious kind of take a back seat. I, I don't know how well it goes. But and if I was saying that, like generally, or maybe like say a substantial a substantial amount of African men want women that are hardworking, and that's what I know too. In today's um environment, so one income doesn't do it again. Two incomes is not like the wife will be working, the husband better be working too, so, or the mom is working, the father better be working too, so, and that's how because bills got to get paid and the children got to eat. So. That's basically what we are talking about. And I'll leave the floor to you again. And again, it's Soberin and Soberat, right? Am I saying this right? So be like the patient man for the patient woman. Yeah. Yeah. They, like it goes like that. The pure man for the pure woman. I don't know where this um, men want feminine woman. Like where in the Quran does it say that? Like if we really bring the religion or the Islamic perspective to it. They are the, the the answer is already there. I don't know why people are trying to uproot problems. Even like in Surah to Karim where it says like mostly Martin, Muminatin, Konitatin, Taibatin, Saibatin. You know, like it, it goes like that and it names like all I guess qualities of women right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like but, uh, it was it was talking about it was talking to the wives of the prophet. Like, if the prophet should divorce them and um, divorce them, they should, they should seek divorce from the prophet. Like, that's going to replace mm -hmm. um, them with yeah me, who, who are patient. I can't even remember the, uh, the, the like story the behind it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. You're right. Like, it says like Just Allah would give you them better women. And I don't think there was yeah, anything was about nice. femininity there, feminine energy yeah. or feminine women. I don't know. It's just the most like Muslim women connecting. What does connecting mean? Content. It's content. content. Okay. And, like it described like all the kind of women that Allah would give um, the prophets, like replaced if they divorce him. So where I don't like maybe I need to like see the meaning of the uh, surah again, but I don't think it says anything about like um feminine feminine, feminine like honestly, <laughs> and the other times it's pair the man and woman together. It's like Muslim for the Muslimin, uh, sorry Muslim for the Muslimat, Muminin for the Muminat, Kordin for the Kordin, um, Sobirin for, for the yeah, Sobirin yeah. for the yeah, it's always like it's always qualities, characters. I don't know so much about energy that it's been talked about this time. Like, oh, men want feminine women. No, it's like Allah has concluded this topic. So don't be coming to bring us another yeah. trouble. No, honestly now, like what we actually have women who are like that, so you should go for them. Why do you have to, I mean, change someone you met and be telling them this is how you want them to be? Yeah. Is that you take them for who they are? Exactly, exactly. And that's what I think too. Someone like, you want. Yeah. Actually, what's 
So I, I don't believe in trying to manipulate someone just because you want to get married to them or yeah. you want to have a relationship. Yeah. With them. I so don't go for things you are you look alike with. So not that you go to another person and you're telling them this is how I want you to be. No, look for the person you want to you want to go for. Mm -hmm. And then if you're on the same page, fine. If you're not on the same page, you look for the person that will be like you. If we look at the other parts of the world that are not war zone, and if you look at the parts that are war zone, say like Sudan, Yemen, Congo, uh, Palestine, if you look at those um those four that I mentioned, I mean, look at the women there. Like, would you ask them that you want feminine energy? It doesn't make sense. And I think that the same courtesy that you can't ask women in those um, kind of conflicts or war zone, at the same time, you should extend the same court courtesy to people and to the women that are not in the war zone too. Like, I, I could look at any woman in like all these, um, all these spaces that I mentioned and be like, you know, I'll handle your life for the life that I am living. Like, I can't imagine, like, being in that situation. It's horrible. It's just horrible. I can't explain it. And I, don't, I can't imagine how people are trying to live in there. For someone to be like, oh, for an idea to be going, like, oh, I want feminine energy. It's like, um, excuse me, I'm, I'm reflecting right now with the, another woman, like, away or across from me in, a, in another place. In this world, and I'm re I'm reflecting. I don't feel like I want to give any feminine energy because even like if you're not in this situation, just reflecting it makes you it makes you boil and be like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by feminine energy when a woman like myself is going through this? Like so, it doesn't even matter if like the women are in the Western world or not. You just you just can't come up and say that because. We get influenced by each other. I could be influenced by someone like so far away from me like that. Like take away the life that I'm living right now. And if I see someone, if I hear someone, if I reflect and I'm influenced by the type of life that another person is living, don't come and ask me about feminine energy. You're not going to get it. Unless you're going to go there and like settle settle all this thing and bring peace to this world that we are living in then you can get feminine energy from it until you do that you are not getting feminine energy i'm sorry but you can't it, it doesn't make sense and i think we should award courtesy to each other like that that's what i feel like